Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, it's Reg here from Average Guy. Uh, today what we're gonna do is, I noticed last time I was at the space station that it was getting a little low on fuel, so I took one trip up there just to top it up a little bit, and this one is going to be to finish it. Plus, I wanna put a couple of my little robots up there and uh, get them so that they can be working up there too and maintaining the uh, the space station on the outside so that's the plan so if we take a look at my uh, build here I'm just going to say continue build this is the rocket whoop, that I'm going to send up okay you've seen this one if you watched me do the landing on the moon with the robot the robot the rocket it's the same the same shot so I'm going to take this one up it's going to have a ton of ability to get there. Uh, there'll be tons of extra fuel left over probably at the end, and that's fine, because I want to use the fuel to top up my station. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the drones and I'm going to park them at one location, and then I'm going to take the rocket and park it at another location, and I'll show you how I do that and how I can transfer fuel once I'm up there. Now, with this, I do want to point out I added on these thrusters uh, sitting on the sides here. Let me just get my pointer. I don't like the crazy colored ones, so I'm going to grab this guy. There's a thruster, and there's a thruster. So once I get up there, those thrusters are the ones I'm going to use along with... Don't do that. Along with the uh, ones at the top here. Okay, so there's the, the probe that's going to control it. This is my docking port that I'm going to use to dock to the space station now. I have put up the orbital maneuvering systems that I talked about before. I showed you doing one of those. I've got all four of them up there now. Definitely think I've got four of them up there. And I'm going to dock this onto one of those. That's the, the purpose of those ports that were on each side, is so that we can dock onto it. So that's what we have here is so we've got a probe. We've got this so I can control this one separately. And then on the top here, we got these two little robots and they have their own little sections plus this thing can dock as well. And I might put another, yeah, let's do that. Let's put another set of thrusters on. Hmm, let me just think for a second here. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take this thruster and rotate that one and put it there because when I go to use that I'm not going to be really using the uh, that little rocket there or that robot at that time they will be disconnected already for the most part when I'm doing that I think that'll do it so let's get this ready to go you can see the rocket has uh, or the robots have ports on the back as well as on the front so they can connect on to whatever if they're repairing one of the solar cells or something they can they can do that plus they got their little legs that they can they can use as arms as well yeah yeah that's it yeah so they, they can go out there and they can do the work that they need to do okay let's get up there so I've showed you this before in this will in includes then a rendezvous, docking, uh, disconnecting, moving, docking somewhere else. So, so we got a bunch of different steps that we need to do here. But the first thing, of course, now is to rendezvous with the current space station and uh, get up there and give it some more fuel. So let's check my staging. So I've got the main engines go on. Then I disconnect the lower part, disconnect the outside thrusters. Okay, so I'm disconnecting these outside thrusters. Then I disconnect the inside ones. Then I fire up this engine and that'll allow me to get to my space station. And I think that's all we need. I, uh, yeah, and so I've, I've got it so that it currently will open the, the fairing. We're gonna do an experiment. We're gonna try to launch one of these things without a fairing. Why don't we see what that does? I won't do it this time. I'll, I'll do that as a short, a little clip. 
So we've got uh, the rockets on the robots will be enabled and uh, the ports, these guys here, will be disconnected once I hit the final stage. Okay, so let's get up there. So launch. Yep, we have no heat shields, that's correct, because hopefully this is never coming back down. Well, the big rocket core will come back once it's copied over as much fuel as I can. So let's check the map, see where my space station is. That's probably it there. Yep, and you can see how on my space station, I guess I can't really zoom in, but in this area down in here, you can see that some of them are, pre are full because, like I say, I've taken one trip already up there to fill some. And a bunch of them are missing some fuel. So we're going to top up the space station. We want to make sure that now that I've got the orbital maneuvering systems on there, that it'll be good to go for quite a while here. Okay, so I'm going to wait until the space station gets around. Just so I'm not chasing it for too long. Okay. doesn't really matter too much where it is. I'm going to park it there. Where I go to orbit is going to depend on where it is. It is currently orbiting at 50 kilometers. We can see that on both sides. Okay, so it's orbiting at 50 kilometers, spherical orbit. If I end up in front of it, I'll take my this rocket and go at 50.1 on both sides. If I end up behind it, I'll go to 49.9. Either way will work. If I'm lower, if I'm equivalently, or relatively, I'll be going faster. If I'm above, relatively, I'm going slower. So that's that's why we do it that way. Okay. Go up there. Oh yeah, let's show you that. So I've got now the one, two, three, four of the orbital. Uh, maneuvering systems are now attached and if I zoom in on one of these this is the port that we're going to attach the big rocket to and this is where we're going to put the little guys on probably on one of the other one of the other ones or I can actually park them at one of these as well one of these docks so I've got all sorts of places I can put them on here so go back to this one and feels full Stage to turn on all the engines and light her up. So I've not taken this particular rocket to the space station before. This is our first time for for doing this one. These rockets, there's a lot of power behind them. So this is one I've taken for going all to the Jovian planets and stuff like that too. So. I, I fully realize that I've got way more thrust than what's necessary here. It's the fuel I want to get up to the space station. That's what's important to me. And that's why I'm not going to light that center one at all until we get up there. Leave as much fuel as we can. Okay, drop the mid. Get over to 45 degrees. Oh, I can go to 60 degrees. And let's check the map. Okay, so I'm still significantly behind the space station, and that's fine. Or a little bit in front, but by the time I get up there, I'll probably be a little bit behind. Because you can see I'm sort of at the same position at this point. So, And I'm going slower than it is at this point. Okay, so let's... Get more side thrust going on. So I'm just turning it so that I'm getting more, pushing out more of an orbit. Don't forget that space station's going at 50 uh, kilometers up, right? So I don't really need to go higher than that. In fact, I don't really want to go higher than that. Let's get ready for staging. Okay, so those two will drop back to orbit. Okay, we are now, that's good, good position to start with. 
So we're going to be at 47.1-ish approximately. So let's give her some more. And we're going to try to develop our orbit here at this point. So we're behind the station, so I know I need. Well, I want to go to... Uh, there we go, let's stage. That, that still looks pretty to me, though. Okay, so we're staging in behind there. There we go, we're starting to develop an orbit. And there we go. Good, so we got low Earth orbit. I'm watching my furthest point. You can see it's rotating off to the left there. I'm looking for that to get to 49.9 because I need to go a little bit faster. There we go. Then the space station. I'm going to be dropping all the way down to 43 at this point, so I'm going to have to go around. Now to the high point. There's those other rockets dropping back. Okay, so we're going to get to our highest point. And we're going to point into it. And you can see I was catching up pretty fast with the, the system already there. There we go. And let's push it up to 49.9 on this side too. Okay. You can see it's starting to move a little bit out on me there, so i got to keep an eye on it. 49.5, 6. I'm watching the other one as well. Okay. I'm not going to try to push it any more than that at this point because I'm already at the halfway between the two, and I'm going to start pushing out the other one. So let's just loop around. We're not going to catch up that fast. Okay, so close enough. Whoops. See, this is what happens when you hit the thrusters now on these things. So even just the point of turning has changed me to 49.9. Okay, you saw it. I'm not sure if you saw that. I was just using the thrusters. I wasn't even using my main rockets at this point. So I'm going to turn off the main rockets here. And if I take a look at the... The rocket here, just turning my thrusters is changing my orbital position on it. So let's just catch up to them. We are currently a little bit lower, so we're going to catch up. And it takes a few times around. Okay, we're starting to catch up. And some people do that, navigate to and do all that, but I find this works just fine. Okay, you can see when I start to zoom in, he's still a little bit behind. There we go. You see, I'm zooming way in and I'm seeing it. So let's go to map and see if we can find it. There it is. Right there. It's a little hard to see, but that's that's him. So I'm just going to go a little bit more, but I'm going to watch it here. What's going to happen is it's going to slowly spiral in. Okay, and we're getting close already, so it's... And see how it's slowly getting closer to me? That's why I like doing it this way, because it's sort of visual. And at one point, it's going to start sort of... So you got to be careful, because otherwise you, you're going to shoot past it, right? Right there. That's close enough. Because we don't want an accident either. Okay, so to move towards the space station, I'm just going to thrust towards the space station. And when I want to move away from the space station, I'll just thrust away from the space station. It's that literally that easy. So, in fact, let's do... We could actually remove our uh, drones here. 
Okay. So we're just going to turn them around. I want to make sure I don't affect the other guy by thrusting on him. Okay. So. Is he saying pretty much? Yeah, he's pretty much relative. Let's go back to this guy. Because this one appears to be doing more moving than the other one is. So, yeah, there we go. I'm going to thrust towards the space station. He's heavy. He's full of fuel. So you got to be careful how you move. That you don't get going too fast. But this was, like I say, this was moving more relative to the space station than what the the drones were doing. They were sitting pretty steady. I'm just going to park this guy in one of those orbital maneuvering systems that I've got there. Slowing it down. I like to zoom in sometimes because then you can actually see what the thrusts are doing. And don't forget, he's heavy, so it's it's going to take a little bit more to position him. for it to dock. It hasn't docked yet. Come on. Connect on. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we have connection. Let's get the robot before he floats off. Okay, guys, towards the station. There we go, okay. Just checking my angles. He's a lot lighter. So he maneuvers much faster than the other ones do. I'm just going to get this, park it right at this orbital maneuvering system on the other side here. That was the first time I actually had parked anything at one of those uh, larger docks. So I'm glad that it eventually did connect. I was starting to think maybe I'd done something wrong that was causing it problems. There we go. <sighs> now we can breathe again. <laughs> Always important to breathe. So first thing before I do anything else, let's just fuel up. So the way you're going to do this is you just click on the, the one and then you just go around and click on each of the different components. Click there. So just touch and go to the next one. Sometimes I do that. I close the solar cell as I'm doing this. So I'm just going to go quickly through these. Some of these I may have already done on my previous mission. 
Yeah, these ones are all done. There's one. And every time these guys have had to use the thrusters, they've used up some of their fuel, right? So, so that's why we want to go and just top these ones up. And we can always, if we end up having to use the orbital maneuvering system, we can always transfer some fuel as needed. Let's come on this side. I think I might have... I've got some yet that are low. Where are they? There's one. It's wherever you have those little... Let's make sure that one's okay. Ah, look at that. We're getting, you can tell I've got like times seven on the one saying that that one's pretty much all filled up for most of those stages. Yeah, I think we're good. Make that open that shell back up. Where else would I have missed? I've got a couple that are low. I think we did those, yeah. Open that's okay. So we got lots in there, I think. Now we're there's only a few that are a little bit low, and one of them might be this rocket itself. Let's check these guys. Yeah, there's one. So stop it going the wrong way. He keep opening his leg up and closing it here. Okay, and I'm not going to disconnect the big guy. Oops. Until we uh, get these guys where we want them. Because this big guy here has a ton of fuel on it left. Okay. Let's get the little rockets and move them out now. So, disconnect. There we go. There's the emergency repair drones. And we're going to drive him towards one of these ports on the side here. These are really touchy, these ones. There we go. That's one. And we'll get this other guy off.
I'm just going to park this guy on this port down here. Careful not to open his legs up too much because that solar cell gets pretty close to him there. There we go. He's good. He can't leave his legs closed for now. So let's transfer fuel from this guy. Whoop. Okay, didn't break this this cell. That's good. <laughs> Careful how you touch. I'm gonna turn that engine off. Okay, it passes. Must pass just in front of it. Yeah, let's call it that. Okay, so let's transfer fuel. From this one to this. There we go. And transfer fuel to the other one. Okay. So they're filled up. Let's just make sure that this guy is filled up so we can get him out of there. And I was just transferring fuel from this one, but that's okay because they were full. Okay. So now we can get that little guy off that end there because we don't need him there and we're not going to need the, the rocket where it is anymore either. So, let's disconnect that one. And I've added in, if you remember my previous one, I didn't have the, the double thrusters on there. Makes it so much easier to drive these things when you've got two thrusters rather than just the one. And he zips along pretty fast. So instead of leaving debris floating around in space, I'm going to join this onto that big rocket again and then send them off. says come here big guy stop thrusting here we go okay let's grab this one it's gonna switch over here so I can grab this one Nope, docked again. Grab this guy. Docked again. Come on. Oh, oh. that was a bad maneuver. <laughs> oh, it's working opposite to the way I'm expecting it to. Which ship am I looking at? Ah, I was looking at the big station. Oh, no. There we go. Okay, we're good. It's all good. No damage. Noticeable. We're slowly pulling away from the space station, and in all honesty, I don't know whether the space station is pulling away from us or if we're pulling away from the space station, but in any case, I want to do this quickly so then I can get back here. and make sure the space station's at a proper orbit. Oops. There we go. So those guys are now docked. Okay, that's good. Let's switch to this guy for a second. Okay, so we did move them a little bit as we nudged around there. So let's just adjust his orbit again. 49, 50. So when I get around to the other side, I will 
finish cleaning that up. So space station's okay. Let's switch to this guy. Okay, so we're gonna park this one in the earth. So where is the earth? Make sure we are looking at this rocket and we're not gonna drive straight into the space station. So there's the Earth. So if I would have just hit the thruster, that would have been a very bad day. There we go. Everybody wave bye-bye to the space station. As the rocket slowly builds up speed. says okay so that one will eventually come down you can see over here I just want to check on one thing here I have stopped the thruster because I don't want it to hit this little guy that's floating right here <laughs> right there so we'll leave them alone Let's go back up here. Switch to. Now you can see we got eight times. Uh, yeah, we got tons of fuel in this thing. So let's go around to the other side. And see, it's even just us going by there, it's changed its orbit just a little bit. Okay, so now we're at 50. Slowly go around. You can see the other guy is burning up now or will be yep so everybody say goodbye to this one there it goes okay Yep, everything is gone there. Not to worry about that. Resume game. This is one where we want to make sure it does okay here. So let's take her around. So always must make sure you readjust your orbits once you do this stuff because those little nudges and when something pushes against the space station, it pushes back. Those thrusters will do that. They automatically uh, will respond. You remember I had one where my one rocket was pushing the other uh, probe that was on the ground? Just pushing it turns on the thrusters. So you have to make sure you turn off their thrusters if you don't want them to respond. Because their goal is to try to keep things where they are. And if it sees that it's suddenly starting to move, Okay, so let's get this up to 50 all around. There we go. 50 is all around, so we're good to go. Uh, space station is now fully fueled up, or close enough. And we got a couple of drones on there that can go and do some work. So thanks very much for your time. Uh, if you find these helpful, the, I think I've done enough uh, docking ones for now so that uh, hopefully you guys can be do that or you can do those ones no problem uh, if you find it is helpful though please do uh, uh, subscribe to the channel I'd really appreciate it give it a thumbs up make sure you ring the bell so that you can see more uh, that way yeah so subscribe ring the bell and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one have a great day bye bye